the summary of my life in the year 2024. 2024 was a great year. It was written as a script from God to walk out signs and wonders for me every day. I have come on the volume of the books to have dominion by light. Therefore, this is the best year in the history of my life. I am a carrier of the dispensation of light. In God, I have found a path and my world would experience that light that I represent. The people hanging around darkness and the region of death have found a great light in me. With this, I rejoice. I have vowed to live a life of separation from sin and dedication to God. I am always delighted in spiritual things and that of the kingdom. I am committed to soul winning and advancement of the kingdom. I am a responsible child of God. I declare that my season of jubilee has started and I began to experience fruitfulness in my life and the works of my hands. I experienced bountiful harvest in every seed I plant and it became an overflow for me. In 2024, the angels of God walked with me and hurried the rise of my star and the emergence of my prophetic destiny like they pronounced that of Christ. These angels bring me daily help and contend with every opposition against me. In the year 2024, I am not isolated. I am surrounded by builders, helpers, and encouragers. Goodness and mercy are my companion every day. I will be the right person, in the right place, and at the right time, and the light of God will shine upon me. My mind is sharp and able to receive multi-million ideas. I am on the cutting edge of my assignment. I enjoy strategic connection and the Holy Spirit guides me where my potentials freely manifest without inhibition. The seasons of my life syncopates with God's timetable. Everything about my life is coming together and opens up new things for me. The entire creation conspires to favor me every day. In the year 2024, my life is under the power and the covering of the blood of Christ. I am delivered from guilt, pollution, and condemnation. The blood restores, renews, rejuvenates, and revives me. I overcome every wicked ploy because the blood speaks for me. This is the year I have ever believed God for and that which is spoken by the mouth of the Lord. I will dominate 2024. Dr. Aki Akinpelu is sent with Dr. Aki Akinpelu is sent with a mandate to raise a generation that will take over territories for God before the second coming of Christ. He pastors the movement called Eden Center. Join us for Morning Boast by 6 a.m. weekdays as we study the word, intercede for nations, and study the Bible. Hallelujah. Praise God forevermore. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome to the day two of fruitfulness. Hallelujah. Our second day of fruitfulness. Glory be to God in the highs. Welcome, 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 welcome. Do you want to bless the name of the Lord this morning for the blessing of a new day? For the gift of Christ? For the hope we have in Him? Give the Lord praise and glory. Worship Him, magnify Him, glorify Him. He's a good God, He's a great God, He's a mighty God. He's our shield, He's our help. He is the glory, He's the lifter of our head. You want to bless His name, give Him thanks and praise and worship Him. Father, I give you glory, I give you praise. I worship you and I glorify you. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We woke up this morning, every part of our body woke up with us. There is no organ dead inside of us. Our BP is gone. Our blood pressure is working normally. No more high blood pressure. Our kidneys are working. Our liver is working. Our blood is flowing well. Every fiber of our bone is strong. Come on, bless his name. Give him glory. Give him praise. Worship him. Glorify him. Father, we thank you. Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, we thank you. I give you glory. I give you praise. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Oh, amen and amen and amen. Are you excited? This hour, give the Lord praise. Everywhere you are, give Him glory. Worship Him and glorify Him. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I bless your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory be to the Lamb of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. I think it's a better time to say good morning to Jesus. Good morning to the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Right into the chat box. Say, say good morning, Lord. Good morning, Lord. Hallelujah. Can you also do me a favor? Quickly click on the share button. Send to your community, your friends, your DP. Be a blessing to somebody. Get many testimonies because you always share the broadcast. And we are grateful to you for that. Glory be to God. So welcome to day two of fruitfulness. You know, this is our week of fruitfulness. Amen. And so this morning, yesterday we looked at destined to be fruitful. Now today we are looking at positioned to be fruitful. Hallelujah. Are you excited about that? Oh, go into the chat box. Say, I am positioned for fruitfulness. Positioned for fruitfulness. You can be empowered. You can be destined to it. But what if you are not positioned for it? You see that? So that's a gap that we want to answer today. And our opening scripture is from John chapter 15. John 15 and verse 5. Glory to God. Jesus speaking here. I am the vine. You are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. I read it again. I'm the vine, you are the branches. If you abide in me and I, you will bear much fruit. Without me, you can do nothing. So if you abide in me, I abide in you, you'll bear much fruit. So that, that scripture now talks a lot about your positioning. Yeah. You want to be fruitful. How are you going to bear much fruit? There is an alignment. What's the alignment? He said, you abide in me and I abide in you. So we have to be looped in together. It cautious that I am in you. And you are in Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody say, I'm in Christ. Christ is in me. 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 Glory be to God. Let me tell you a story of what happened in India many years ago. Many years ago. Um, there's a place called Godavia um, Delta. It's in the southern part of India. And that particular city is known to be the people in charge of the high produce of rice. So they call it the rice area. You know, and um, it's a very well watered area, very fruitful area. You know, it's the most watered place in India, the Godavian Delta. But it was never like that. History explains that in the 19th century, are we together? Uh, it was as dry as every other place. So when you find other plates in India, the northern part of India, the cotton side, it was so dry. And what did they do? They created two systems. They worked on the rain system and also an irrigation system. 
so that they wanted to produce a right condition for Godavian Delta. So what did they do? They received fresh water from the sky. It goes in and they now dug canals around Godavian Delta. Once the water comes, it falls into the canal. When the canal receives it, the canal circulates what is called the fresh water. So fresh water from the sky enters into the canal and the canal that is so clean will circulate what is called the fresh water around the entire city. So at that point, it was very, very fruitful for them. What were they trying to achieve in Godavian Delta? Right environment. There is a positioning that brings fruitfulness. There's something you need to become that you can be fruitful. Beyond just praying it, there's a positioning for it. John 15 says, if I'm in you, you are in me. If you abide in me, I abide in you. So the first thing, the first condition is this, abiding in him. Are you abiding in God? I'm not saying, are you praying to God? Are you worshiping in God? I'm saying that, are you abiding in the word? Abiding in the word is a very powerful thing. Is Christ in you? Are you in Christ? Are you born again? Now, if you are born again, is the word abiding in you? Are you abiding in the word? Do you come on, on visitation to the word? Once a while, are you check out again? No. The word abide is settled. The word abide is leave. The word abide is stay there. Abiding in the word. Number two, meditating the word. Making sure you meditate on the word. Joshua 1 8. Thou shalt meditate there and there and night. John chapter 1, verse 1 to 3. He talks about the position of a man blessed by God. He sits here, he stands here, he talks here. What is the reward? You shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, bearing fruit in due season. Do you see that? The fruitfulness just comes because that man meditates. Number one, abiding in the word. Number two, meditating on the word. Number three is that you must obey the word. You must learn to obey the word. John 14, 23. Jesus answered and said to him, if anyone loves me, he will keep my word. If you love the Lord, you will keep his word. If you love the Lord, you will keep his word. If you love the Lord, you will keep his word. If you love the word, you will keep his word. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. So you must position yourself. Position yourself in Christ by abiding in the word. You see why every day you must study the scripture. Fruitfulness is just a product of consistency in the word. Staying every day, studying the word, praying, getting excited about it. Fruitfulness comes. But God wants to first see that word, faithfulness, that consistency. And you do it every day. And you do it month in, month out. And you do it weekly, week in, week out. And you do it yearly, year in, year out. I am in Christ. Christ is in me. I'm in the Word. The Word is in me. I abide in the Word. The Word abides in me. That's the loop and the alignment. Glory be to God. This morning, let us pray. Lord, give me the grace to abide. You see, you see how that's how to be positioned for fruitfulness. Grace to abide. Grace to abide. Grace to abide. Give it to me. Go ahead and speak to the Lord this morning. Lord, I receive the grace to abide. Oh, it's my week of fruitfulness. I receive grace to abide. Grace to be positioned for the word. In the name of Jesus, come on, pray, 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 pray. And pray unto the Lord, pray unto the Lord, pray unto the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you praise and we give you glory. Hallelujah to your name. In Jesus' most precious name we have prayed. Somebody say a big amen. Glory be to God. So let's get in very quickly. Our seat, you have a kingdom seat this morning. Label it as position for fruits. Look at the screen. You will see the account number details for any part of the world that you are in. And lift up that seat. I declare this morning that that seed is blessed. It positions you for fruitfulness. You will not be barren. 
you will not be dry in the name of Jesus Christ thank you father in Jesus name we pray say a big amen go ahead and cast your offering or any seed that you have in your hand now let's pray for a nation remember we're praying for one country every day so by the end of the year we would have prayed for a minimum of 300 countries so we're praying for the nation called North Korea now this is different from South Korea we're going to pray for North Korea look at the flag on the screen stretch forth your hands and say North Korea the kingdom of God has come upon you we declare that the gospel is having a free course we declare that the gospel he is fathered in that nation we declare that saints of God are arising in that nation in the name of Jesus go ahead and speak to the Lord speak to the Lord speak to the Lord speak to the Lord about it in the name of Jesus that nation is blessed North Korea you are for the Lord in Jesus most precious name we have prayed amen before we go let's get in our Bible plan for today remember we're reading the entire Bible for the year I will pick one every day today we're reading John 14 the entire verse there read it solidly meditate on it let the light of God jump on you that should be all you meditate all through today today is the beginning of the best days of your life and please always study that scripture remember it has to be Bible before breakfast lift up your hands as you go I declare go in peace the hand of the Lord rests upon you the speed of the Lord comes upon your legs I declare that your position for fruitfulness in your work in your business in your schools and in the works of your hands in the name of Jesus Christ thank you father I give you glory and praise blessed be the name of the Lord in Jesus most precious name we have prayed well God is up to something get ready he's doing a new thing today I want you to know that God loves you more than the enemy can ever hate you and I see you again same time tomorrow 6 a.m. West African time keep being the pride of God Jesus is Lord bye Can you see them worshiping? Will it